This is natural cotton flock, and cotton is the raw material used for manufacturing denim. We've come to TRC Candiani, just a little north of Milan in Italy. The Candiani family has run the company for almost a century, and TRC is known as one of the oldest and most historic denim mills in Europe. Cotton is grown in more than 100 countries and comes in around 60 different grades of quality. Since cotton is a natural product and nature is fickle, today's denim manufacturers mix cotton from different origins, so as to guarantee consistent quality all year round. It goes without saying that choosing the right cotton is a skillful business. And although today the work is done by machines, Mr. Candiani knows only too well what the different parameters are. I still buy the cotton. I am the guy in charge of the cotton. And of course, having uh, over 30 years of experience, now I know for each single area in the world uh, what is better for us. When I buy cotton, I have to look at a few parameters to check if the quality is suitable for our uh, uh, needs. So first parameter I can check uh, with a visual inspection is uh, to check the grade. The grade means uh, color and cleanness of the cotton color, as you can see, it's white, it's a very nice white color and very low quantity of leaf. The second parameter, which is as well very important, is the length of the fiber, which is necessary to have the right yarn, the right quality in the yarns. And I can do this checking by hand in this way. And now I have the fiber which has been parallelized by, by me. And this is the length of this Indian cotton. It's uh, over one inch and one eighth. Very suitable for our yarns. The Candianis maintain a stock of cotton that will last about three months, depending on the demand. At the start of production, there'll be about 13,000 bales of cotton in the warehouse that'll be used to make about 8,000 kilometers of denim, about the distance from Amsterdam to Los Angeles. Nowadays, the Candianis use cotton from India, Greece, Brazil, and West Africa, varieties that meet the company's strict quality demands. To arrive at a predetermined desired mix, bales from different origins are placed one after another on the conveyor belt. The opened bales now enter the carding process, a very important operation to determine the final features of the yarn. A sort of giant vacuum cleaner armed with a comb rakes the flakes from the cotton, removing them by air suction. Now it's time for the different varieties of cotton to be blended. This is done in large chambers, where the cotton floats in the air during the entire process. The process ensures that seeds and other impurities are removed from the cotton, as well as separating the short fibers from the long ones. Once the cotton fibers have been blended and arranged in parallel, they're fed through a device to produce what is known as a sliver. The sliver is then remixed a further 36 times to obtain the perfect blend. Thank you. 
Like in every ultra-modern factory, robots are used for almost all logistical processes. But if the machine should fail, human intervention is always at hand. The sliver is then slightly twisted, preparing it for spinning. The rough lengths of sliver are then drawn into a finer yarn and wrapped onto a bobbin in the flyer, ready to embark on the next step of their journey, spinning.